Okay, I'm going to give a little tutorial of the software and the eyes of our screen here. Um, so when you uh, <coughs> pull up the machine, it's going to part, start up, it's going to say, it's going to always ask, is the machine safe? By default, it's going to try to go into automatic mode. And so if your hydraulics are turned on and there's no one near the machine, then you would just click yes. And what it's going to happen is it's going to go through a startup procedure, uh, check lift arm position, make sure the machine's empty, that kind of thing. Now it failed here because I don't have my hydraulics turned on. Um, or my tractor running, so um, it's it's going to fail to say check um, check hydraulics or check lift arm errors. So um, that's it'll it'll kind of tell you why it fails. It. But so in automatic mode, this is how you would do it: go to automatic mode, check is it safe. That's how you can do that. Um, in manual mode, um, I could say yes, it's safe here. And what in manual mode I can do is I could do I could lift or lower my 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 lift arms. Um, I can open my rear gates, I could close my gates, or, or just open my, my top gate or my bottom gate. You can do all that here just through just through that. You can also see the position of any sensors. So if there's something, you're not sure if a sensor is working or what it's reading or the distance it's reading, that kind of a thing, you can see, uh, you can see everything right here from this page. So very, very straightforward, very simple, and, and whatnot. Um, this button here with the pause on it to see eject, this is your hold mode. So if I was in automatic mode and I'm uh, going through my automatic procedure, um, this hold mode is turned on right now. That, that pause button turns that on and off. So that's what, uh, that's, what that's there for. What the, what the hold mode does is it will, when the accumulator is full, it will not eject the bales right away. It will it'll hold them until you either hit eject or uh, the next bale coming in will force it to eject. So that's that's how that would work. Um, under the setup here, there's a number of different things that you can uh, turn on and off. We've got, um, you know, you can choose your plan. So if I had an eject plan that I a file I created, I could I could scroll through the ones I don't have any loaded on here right now, and then you would just save to exit, and then it will remember it, and that's that's how you would set that. Um, this is your uh, some of the machine settings. So here. Um, you can scroll through your different pages by, see the little X on the end there? Um, so right now it's set for 3 by 4s um, I want to make stacks of 3 high. This is my overlift, and so this is where on my overlift what I would do is as the bale comes in, um, the bale above it, how much above it do we store? We don't want to go too high because we want those bale guides to stay engaged. Um, but I'm going to say a safe place to start is usually around 2. So you want that bale to roll out free. You want it as low as possible, but have that bale, when it comes out, it rolls all the way to the back uh, without ever hitting the top bale. So sometimes if you have really soft hay, you're first cutting and your bale droops a little bit, then maybe you set your overlift just a little little higher. But that's that's what uh, that's there for. Um, this is your a timer for closing the gate. Four seconds is a good spot to start. Won't have to change it too much, but it's your top gate closes on a timer. It does not close by position sensor. And so that's the timer for that. Um, this is your, if you have a scale, um, as the bale rolls onto the scale, it's going to make the catch. But before it picks it up, it's going to, this setting here is how long it's going to sit on that scale to capture the weight before it does a function. So you can set that, the higher you set it, the number, the more accurate weights you're going to get. Two to three seconds is pretty, you're going to get really good weights with that. So. You can set all kinds of numbers in here, but um, oh, sorry, three seconds. Yeah, so three seconds is a good good pause. It, uh, so just after it makes a catch, it just it lets it settle for about three seconds, and then it captures the weight and, and does the lift. So that's what that's all about. Um, this is your smart stack technology. So um, <coughs> if your bales are a little crooked when they land, and they're 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 sliding on each other because you're dropping at high speeds, what you can do is you can actually build your stack a little bit crooked. Um, so that when it lands, it's all straight, and that's the smart stack here. You can just toggle through and and set it. So the faster you go, maybe the faster, the higher the number you want. But it'll really depend on conditions. Like in alfalfa, you might be traveling uh, 10 mile an hour, no no issues at all. Uh, 11 mile an hour, you know, get to 13 mile an hour, they might start sliding a little bit. Um, you want to adjust the smart stack. So that that's what that's all about. Um, this is a map based eject. So using GPS to eject your bales so if you want to enable that that feature that option that's there um, these last two here are your alarms and so what happens is with this top one here where the X is now 
every time a bale comes into the stacker and it lifts it, um, it will pop up and tell you, I just lifted a bale, it will show you how many bales you have on there. Um, and, and also if you have a scale, it will display the last bale weight. Um, if you have some balers, this, the Keemler software is all integrated and it's really neat, neat and tidy. In those cases, I would not have that turned on. I would leave it turned off because um, it's just more kind of notifications. Uh, but if you don't, if you have to flip back and forth to see the accumulator screen, then it's really nice because it just tells the operator, you know, hey, you've got a bale here, and uh, that's what that's for. Um, you can only see how many bales you got. This one here is the hold mode alarm. So when you have the hold mode enabled, what will happen is when the bale comes out, um, and it's full, and your stacker is full, instead of automatically ejecting right away, it will carry those bales for a little while, a little while, um, until you either hit eject, uh, so alarm will pop up, say, hey, I'm full, and you can either hit eject, or you can clear it and go back to the baler page. If you go back to the baler page and forget about it, the next bale coming in, once it hits those front photo eyes, it will trigger that and eject, uh, force an eject, so that it does no damage to the machine. So those are some of the settings, uh, pretty straightforward there, but um, there's some calibrations. Uh, you can do a, a weight calibration and, and uh, with a scale there, stuff like that. Um, there is also a lift arm calibration. So this, honestly, you would do once a year, not maybe every couple of years. You, you don't, quite often, uh, you, we don't have much trouble with this. It's, uh, so if you ever change a sensor or new installs, um, you want to calibrate the arms so it finds where the bottom is, where the top is, and then it just it marks and so it, it creates a map of knowing the degrees of the arm and, and how high it's lifting and stuff like that. So if you are having one arm acting a little bit strange or it's a little bit different height than the other one, um, there's a little bit of tolerance in the software, but if it's quite significant, then you might want to do a, a lift arm calibration again. Um, so that's what that's, what that's all about. Um, the other one here is your gate align. So, um, you would want to align your top and bottom gates so that when your your bottom bale does the catch, uh, bottom gate does the catch and it pushes it back into position, it's got to know where to push it back to. What what What's the point where the top gate is? So you want to line up the two gates. There's a hook on the top of the gate. You line it up with the, with the gate above it. And, uh, and then what you would do is just save it. Once you have it lined up, you hit save and exit, and then it, it goes into there. Um, so that's that's that. It's pretty straightforward. That's the that's the rundown on the software. So to go into automatic mode, click the A, get your hydraulics turned on, your flow set at about 12 to 14 gallons a minute. So that's going. Just click yes, and it will go through. And this is your home page here, and you can see that. So.